you would have told me we would shoot nine of 42 from three with the shots we got, I would, I would tell you I'd be surprised. So that probably was a determining factor. Like I won't ever make any excuses, but I think four games in six days caught us. But our guys competed hard. Defensively, we played well. Uh, credit to Ohio State, they made some plays when it mattered. But we didn't shoot the ball, and we didn't shoot the ball at the free throw line, which which ended up costing us. But I give our guys a lot of credit. They competed at a high level. And we've shown all year we can play with all the big boys. We played Villanova close the first half. We beat Arkansas at Arkansas. and uh, We just played with the, the Ohio State University. So I'm proud of our guys. Disappointed, but proud. Why do you think you were able to get the shots that you wanted? I mean, you said you're happy with the looks that you got from three. Um, how well do you feel you guys did handling Ohio State's length? Well, I think, you know, we, we handled it pretty well. We got what we wanted. I thought they did a good good job on our big guy, probably one of the best all year long. But he still competed and got to the line. He just didn't make any, which we asked him to do a lot. You know, without Forsyth, he played a lot of minutes. And, um, you know, I think – I tried to get him out, but I couldn't get him out of the game enough, really. And um, he's a really good player. He just he just tuckered out on us. He played four games in six days at 300 pounds, which is a lot to ask of a guy. I was just wondering, do you feel like they, I mean, did they get the mission? And like you said yesterday, wanting to be the be beat the best team in the state. Do you, did you think they, you know? Um, well, Marla, look, if you know Keith Dambrod, he's not coming down here to play an overtime game loss. So, I mean, I felt like we should have won the game. If we, if we play up to our capabilities and they play up to their capabilities, I have enough respect for my team to think we should have won the game, you know, but – don't take that the wrong way because I think Thad Mata is one of the best coaches in America, and I and I love Thad Mata, and I love Ohio State. But on this particular night, I felt like we should have won the game. We had a lot of opportunities. We Look, we have a career 41% three-shooter shoot three of 14 on open ones. I'm not saying all of them were open, but he's going to make most of those, and he didn't make them. And I'm not blaming him because it was our whole group, and I think a lot of it, has to be fatigued related. I can't see any other reason why we didn't make other than that. So I guess I answered that, sort of. Keith, have you had, are there, have there been other games this year where you felt like you guys missed open looks or was this really sort of that unusual that you're a good three point shooting team and this is a very rare occurrence. Well, I think we struggled a little bit at the end of the year. But, I mean, what's 9 of 42? I'm, not, I'm good at math. 22%. Like, we've been 38 to 40% all year long, 39 to 40%. So, I really, I really didn't think they took it away from us. I feel like we just missed them. I mean, maybe a couple bad shots, but not, not many. So, you know... For McAdams to get 14 of them is amazing to me. Like, normally we can't even get him 14. Usually he's making six or seven or five. I mean, so I think it was an aberration. I really do. Obviously, you guys had the season you had. You had a very successful season. To, to play in a postseason tournament, to play a team like Ohio State, like, how did you judge what the game like this means to the program, what it might have meant to the program if you – you know, you could have gotten one more point and won this thing, maybe made a run in the NIT? You know, that's a really good question because, you know, uh, when you're a 34 RPI, right, and you're not even up on the board at ESPN, and every coach in America knows we have a good program, right? If you ask college coaches, you ask Coach Mata, they'll, he'll tell you, look, they got a good program. But we can't get a sniff. Even We can't even get talked about, right? So would the win against Ohio State have helped? Yes. But, like, we've beaten Arkansas. We've beaten Mississippi State. We beat USD. We beat Oregon State. And none of that has really mattered. You know, it's that's a, the frustrating part of, about being a mid-major coach. You have to win your conference tournament game. Now, I will say this. 
maybe the next time we get in the NIT, maybe we can get a home game because, you know, we played pretty well. I mean, we're good enough to play. I mean, so that's the discouraging part is, you know, the last time we played in the NIT, we went to Northwestern, and we had a way higher RPI. You know, that, that gets hard because, look, if we play in our building, we got a much better chance to win. We've won 88% of the games in our building since I've been the coach. But you just take it how it, you know, you, you take what you get, really. You know, I'm not complaining about it. I'm thankful to be able to coach my guys. And I, I think the, the thing about us is we're not physically, for the last four or five years, I feel like physically we're as good as the, the big boys. We're big, strong, tough. So I don't think – I don't. I haven't felt at any point over the last four or five years that physically we were outmatched, which is a great feeling. Whereas early on we we had some really good players, but we were a little small. Now we're big and strong, and I think that's the key for us. More. Hats off to Ohio State, though they they hung in there tough, and I give them a lot of credit. Considering Bowles had every play call we had, probably, right? <laughs> Big old goofy guy. All right.